Well, hey there, everyone. Patet Boy here, and welcome back for the first and only time to our Galactic Legends Ray Unlock, Relic Unlock, Testing, all that. Uh, testing is a stretch, but all that good jazz. Woohoo! So, we're going to dive through tiers 1, 2, and 3, the walkthrough, how I've done them and, and what I've done there. And I'm going to show you the low maintenance way to do things and the more high maintenance. I'm going to do the low maintenance first because it requires me to not move mods at the moment. And we'll go to less high maintenance, the more high maintenance mod moving way after. So, let me give you an idea of what I'm rolling here. And I, I really do like this team for this. Ray right here. We're going to pull up her stats just so you can see. She's nothing special uh, as far as modding goes, right? I don't even have 12 dot, uh, 12 dot, 6 dot mods on her, right? We got BB-8 at 310. He needs to be fast, but that's my core mod set for him. I have not stripped mods off anyone. That's just what he has. R2, just uh, rocking some normal stuff. And then we got Finn. I've got him at 300 exactly because he should be at least 300. I need to work on his mods more, but you know, he's here. Um, and then Poe, I think, is like 260-something. Uh, yeah, 263. Again, not the strongest, not the uh, tankiest. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Literally needed nothing to do this first tier. Um, so we're going to dive in. This is the team. And the idea behind this one is you want BB-8 and R2 because BB-8 gives that turn meter push to droid units, which will get him and R2 out moving a little fast. Um... Yep, ooh, we'll dive through it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to start off and just start rolling, okay? And what you want to do is immediately push back turn meter and try to ability block him. If you don't ability block, it doesn't matter. He's never going to take a turn. Don't worry about it. Then, this is a turn meter swap, okay? From Finn, you're going to use this over here on Ray, okay? Bam. Then you're going to take Ray and you're going to call BB-8 to assist, all right? Why? Because BB-8 calls other people to assist when he attacks out of turn. Then you're going to mass swarm this boy. And you're done. Now he's gone, and literally the battle is over at this point. Not even being, like, uh, dramatic here. The battle is over. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, he wasn't inspired. That's why I didn't give him inspiration. Oops. That's a misplay on my part. No, no, no. No. You guys are looking threatening. No, you're not. Swap over to Ray. And use Ray to... Let's see, you have the most T- Oh, you're taunting. Okay, pull the taunts off. There you go. And you're not hiding under stealth. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, we're gonna... Yep. Right. And again, remember, this is my budget-friendly, odd-not-moving-friendly team. I'll show you the cleanest way to do this in a little bit, because this is a little dicey, right? This looks a little hairy. Boom. Boom, boom. Hit him. He can't be critically hit. Now we're good. Rage the tank. We move on. Yep, go ahead and move on. Ta-da. Hit again. More flames. They can't counterattack when it's under stealth. Um... This guy's super annoying because he's like critical hit immunity, but we're just gonna keep running him over. There you go. Oh no. That should kill him. Woohoo! Tier one done, right? And that looked a little messy. Yeah. I've had perfect runs with that team with no mod moving before. Okay. Just just so everyone's <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to think I'm an idiot there. All right, that team can run, as long as you keep that uh, stealth R2 rolling, that team can run Terminator trains over those guys any day. Now, let me show you the ideal team that I uh, looked at several other guides for. And, um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I go move mods, because I'll keep the mods for Tier 1 and 2, let me go to Tier 2 with the same team and show you that as well, okay? Then I'll move mods and show you, okay? Both ways will work fine. Uh... RNG will depend on who they decide to hit and how, but we'll go dive into tier two real quick. I'll show you that, and then I'll move mods and show you what I'd recommend, especially if you're wanting to guarantee not dropping tickets. Very simple way to go about it. Okay. Yep. So the only thing here, right, just like that last Colonel dude in the last uh, phase one, this guy right here is uh, Hux, obviously, and the guy in phase one had Hux's kit, but it's just a different skin, so. 
What you want to do is just run over Hux as fast as possible. So you're going to push back his Terminator, move his um, domination, and just keep rolling on him. And with that, Hux is dead and you're dead. Now you want to focus on the damage dealer, which is these two, right? You got the pilot and I got the executioner, and those are your damage dealers to watch out for. And we're just going to go light him on fire real quick. Pop. A little turn meter swap here to BB-8. Mm -hmm. Wiggle. All in on Panda. Goodbye, Panda. All right, and you're done. So you can see this went really clean because I didn't misplay like an idiot with the uh, uh, inspiration. I that kind of was an idiot. Phase one of inspiration. You can see right here, right? No mod moving. I didn't do anything. Th this team can walk these guys. As long as you take out the Hux or the Colonel what's his butt on the snow one. I don't I don't know who he is and I don't care. Right? But let me show you what I did. Alright, we're gonna be actually real about what I did here, okay? This was the team. Just a slight difference, but with some remods, okay? We did three remods. The only two who get to stay the same are um, BB eight and Finn. Those guys are fine as they are. However, Ray, oh, that's right, I can't edit her mods here, so we're gonna have to go out, which is really annoying. I will say CG fixed that, but let me go back here. All right, journey guide, so let's go to Ray. All right, because it's just a reskinned Ray that they're using there. So we'll go to advanced, and I'm gonna assign her my Jedi Master Luke loadout. And why is that, you might ask? Well, if you didn't notice, the whole strategy behind what I was doing there was I was hiding everyone under stealth and putting Ray out in the open, right? Ray is a tank, right? That's part of her tag, she's a tank. What you wanna do is make her as thick and fast as possible, right? We're giving her a little more potency, a little more tenacity, but just a ton more speed and health and prod, okay? That's why I'm giving her my Jedi Master Luke mods because she needs to be unkillable and fast as hell, okay? BB-8's fine. We're gonna go to R2 and what we're gonna do, we are gonna juice up R2's health. That way you have a little buddy who's just around and doing fine. And we're gonna increase his potency with this mods I'm putting on, this is my Padme mods. The alphabet's hard, I'm trying to think of where P is. Right here, there we go, Padme. Perfect, okay. A little bit faster, a lot healthier. Oh, potency went down, oops, okay. Yeah, same deal, keep the potency high to be able to land those burns, right? But keep them thicker, right? Faster and thicker. And last but not least, we're going to change 3PO and I'm going to give my Darth Revan mods. Why is that? Because I want to be fast as hell. Why? Because every time he's assisting while people have stacks of translation, he's reducing cooldowns, which you'll see come into effect. It's actually really sweet. So make him way faster than he is. He doesn't need to be thick. Nobody cares about his offense. That's irrelevant. 3PO doesn't attack. But this will guarantee for us success without any hiccups, any snares, any issues, okay? So we'll come in here. Ta-da. Boom. And we'll dive in. And you'll see an immediate shift in turn order here. And that's just because of the way my mods were prior to this. But immediate shift in turn order where we're going to have, I believe, 3PO go first. Right? So 3PO, we're going to call BB. Okay? Why? Because he will call someone to assist. Okay? We're going to wiggle wiggle. And then we're going to wave our hands at him. And now with tenacity down, we get the days and the ability block. Okay? Great way to guarantee a lockdown on him in case you suck. And things happen and RNG's bad, right? Not that you suck, but that things suck, right? We're gonna ignore him now, right? Lieutenant Cowell, all right, cool. Colonel Cowell, Lieutenant Cowell. Call BB-8 and start blowing everyone else on the sidelines off, okay? Who has the most turn meter? That would be R2. Swap with R2, get your turn meter. Get the burnout, right? Don't call the mass assist on him, that's useless. He's gonna die. Why is that? Because of the exposed, if you're wondering. These exposes are huge, and those are coming because of the radio, okay? This lady is thick, right? She's not taking damage, and she's dodging like crazy. And you'll see, we already have our gas again to hide everyone, okay? Do that. Swap your turn meter over. We'll do Ray. Um, let's go push back your turn meter, because there's a lot of it. Don't even need to hit you. Go mass one here. Boom. Wiggle, wiggle. All right. 
call the assist here. Um, probably go here. Burn. I'm not gonna worry about him, he's gonna die. Bam. Alright. Well, go ahead and take your turn. Thanks, buddy. So you can see there, they didn't do anything. I think each one of the troopers got maybe one turn. That's it, right? So that's what I did to be sure I didn't lose tickets, okay? And I recommend that if you're looking to just be safe, right? Now, after the fact, right, you can screw around all you want, do dumb stuff. I play around with dumb comps with, like, Rose and Chewie and Han. But if you're looking to not drop tickets, don't play games. Just go in there with a team that works, okay? Same deal. We're going to go into phase two here just like this. All right, and the same goal applies. Destroy Hux with prejudice. Okay, call him. Little, little assist, now he's stunned. We don't care about him anymore. Hide everyone but Ray, and let's get at it. And why did I not go mind trick Hux, you might ask? Because he's stunned. He, he's literally a useless lump of nothing right now. I'm not even remotely worried about him. He can't do anything to us, so I don't care. No, my Ray. Hit the assist. Bam. Okay, go to burn. Everyone's still hitting under stealth. Find this fin now. Get that off. And because he's now not ability blocked and not stunned, murder him. Bye. All right. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh, and this is why we made Ray Fick too. You'll see that, right? Panda, kind of a jerk. He likes to attack a bunch. Right? She pulled up the taunt again. Our whole goal is to make sure Ray can survive every single hit they throw. And if you lose Finn, oh well, it doesn't matter. Once you've got Hux down and Pilot down, you're going to win this. It's not an issue. Okay. Illuminate Destiny. Move on with your life. Okay. Boom. Boom. And each run's a little RNG different because my unmodded team did better that first time than my modded team did. But you saw, right, that turn meter train, the speed, the prejudice in which you control Hux, and then just start working on that pilot for his damage, and then Panda. That's the way you gotta go about it. So, let me go move my mods around before we dive into this, purely because I don't want to forget to do that later and then be wondering what the hell happened to me. So, let's go put back raise mods. All right, that scroll doesn't work, so that's cool. We're just going to drag the page like this then. Ray Jedi training. Back your mods. Yeah. And I need to work on her mods. I will too. But uh, for right now, I don't care. Especially because we're going to be slicing up Galactic Legend Ray's mods here in just a little bit, which I'm very excited for. And the reason I'm doing this while recording, right, fixing these mods, this might be very boring, right? This might look stupid. This might look like a waste of time. Guys, I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to fix mods, so I've just made it a habit now where if you pull mods off of people, go put them back when you're done with what you were doing. If that's TW, if that's TB, if that's for Grand Arena, which I don't recommend for Grand Arena, just have your mods what they need to be for competitive natures at Grand Arena, but right, if you're looking to beef up your 501st or your um, Rebels or whatever it be for a TB mission, right, move your mods and then put them back. Uh, do not let that hang to the last minute or you will regret it and then go into either a Grand Arena locked in with bad mods or you'll go into a Squad Arena battle with bad mods. Stop it. I didn't say to do that. But always, always, always keep up on your mods, okay? Just do. Alright, so we pulled off of Luke, Darth Revan, and Padme. So come here, Padme. Even without mods, Ari just puts her so up high up the list, it's ridiculous. Alright, just... Alright, Padme. Get your mods back. 
and last but not least, DR, who's not even R5, because I can't be bothered. I did not click into you. Sorry, Echo. Oh, this scroll is very annoying. Where are you at, DR? Am I blind? I might be blind. Aha! There we go. And you may have noticed, there's a little bit of sound on this now, too. I've tried to adjust it to be lower because the sound was just so notoriously loud before. It made my head hurt. So hopefully this is an acceptable sound level. I've, I've had to give up recording on my phone again, which is why we can't ever do Grand Arena again. Because uh, the crashes. But this is not a crashable thing on blue stacks. I'm fairly certain. So I think we're going to be fine. Um. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive into this. I think I went the longest way possible to get to that battle. All right, so you can see I've done the two already. And this, unfortunately, is rock, paper, scissors, right? Same as Kylo. I did Kylo's video like a year, year and a half ago now, man. It's been a while, but, uh, oh, here we come full circle. The order here. We're going to dive in. All right, and let's remind ourselves, guys, when you look here, don't worry about your old mods. Don't worry about any of that. You have no mods. Ignore that. All of the abilities are irrelevant. Move on. So, your order of attacks are generally as follows, okay? Faint, strike, parry, strike. Let me let them talk first, and then we're going to show you what that is. With the caveat being, if they misplay, you strike. And I'll show you what that looks like, so I'm sure we will see it here. I know, I know. All right. So, this is faint, okay? See that? Faint. This is strike, right? And this is parry, and then this is strike. So in that order. So right now we're gonna faint. And we just gotta go. Now we have a point. Now he misplayed. So our next order would already be strike, but we're gonna strike anyways because he misplayed. Okay? Strike, get your point. Then we're on parry, right? So parry. Goes and hits, right? He got a point. We didn't, that's alright. And then we strike. And we win that point. Damage. So, he fainted. So we start with faint. Then we strike. Then we parry. Then we strike. We faint. <laughs> right, you'll see in this, right? Just over and over again, same kind of deal. And then we strike, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have our point. Boom. Do it again. Alright, once again, faint, right? This there's, there's no real skill involved here, just uh do the thing in the order we're we're, we're saying, right? Faint, strike, yep. Don't don't not do the order telling you just very no point there but that's all right he misplayed so we strike this play looks like question marks just in case anyone right there you go there's the point hit it again and one more round of this nonsense and we'll be done so faint we'll faint as well strike We might actually lose this point. That's all right. We did. Oh, well. Oh, he misplayed. That's weird. All right, what are you doing, you weirdo? Right. So we're back to fate. Strike. Oh, you don't And we're done, right? This, this thing is obnoxious and odd, and <laughs> I don't love it. But you know, remember, guys, faint strike, parry strike, and strike on this play, and you move on. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone seriously lose this, unless they were just randomly clicking buttons. So just faint strike, parry strike. Even if you're losing, if you lose a point or two, don't worry about it. Just keep 
with it. Okay, and there we go. Geo Ray unlocked. Phenomenal. Now let's go unlock this sucker and get going. All right. Boom. Pop on over. Oh, dude, I have been so excited for this too. She's such a demon when it comes to Grand Arena. Oh. And with Ben Solo on the horizon, I am. This is such good timing because Ben Solo's last round of uh, conquest starts three or four days from now. I don't know. I can't math. But man, here you go, GLRA. We have her. It's done. And her character model's a little scuffed, but you know what? We'll cut her some slack. Cut her some slack. Oh, baby. Give that to level 85. Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to start first with gear. Look at the base stats of her, and then we're going to see what the mods do when we're done. So you know how I roll here. I, uh, I'm going to stop with the purples and just individually do it because I like to know how much pain is being made here. All right. So all those are unlockable now. We're going to equip... This is a boring game too. I am sorry. This one required nothing special. Apologies. This one will though. Alright. Just so you know too, I believe she requires 400 or 450 stun guns. Pieces. A hundred of those have to do with her relic. Like her G12 uh, to G13 finisher. I think she requires 350 um, carbontes. Okay. Yeah. Stun cuffs. I think 150. Yeah, so you're going to see. And then Kairos. Oh, there's an unholy amount of Kairos she requires. So I'll hit the mass upgrade one on this one. I might do that instead of just manually doing it piece by piece. An unholy amount of Kairos, okay? She needs 400 scrap, which means 8. And she needs 600 scrap, which means 6, okay? I barely have enough of each, barely of these guys. And I just... Oh, it's so painful to do this, this woman. I just gearing here is expensive she is on par with um kylo and uh i think it was lord vader for the most expensive gears i've ever had uh, is they're truly atrocious how expensive it is to gear them let's just see oh my gosh yep now thankfully all her stuff is built off health which is just lovely okay we've got this and that uh-huh and more kairos uh-huh. Go ahead. Boom. All right, she's G12. Phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and make sure. All right, cool. Lovely. More health. Yep. So much tactics. It's crazy. And then she needs one of those. Yeah, so much health, which I love. But oh, man. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to have to buy this right here. Let me go find it real quick. Ta-da. Yep. Move on. I knew I'd need to do that. That was planned for, actually. I just forgot to do that prior. So... Right, we got all of this crap here. We got just enough to be able to do this too. And so you see, right, you've got stun gun, just stun gun pieces that you have to craft for this. Very obnoxious, very expensive, but we're done. So, and I think I have a ton of these. Yeah, I have 400 of one of these. I don't remember which one. Well, let's hit that G13. Boom! All right, she's relic. Woo! So, let's now take a look at stats and let's push her to R7 and then look at stats as well. So base health is 100k. Dude, that's just juicy. Base speed, 398. That's really good at Relic. Um, I'm a fan. She is one of the slower GLs, but she's not the slowest, and she's not bad. Um, damage, okay, we're going to try to push that over 10k. All right, sick. Let's go hit the Relic levels first, then we'll go do abilities. And I'll tell you what, Relic levels are so expensive. This is going to cook me out of house and home to do this. I'm probably going to have to buy more Relic Mats too. Which is why we saved up crystals as well. Oh, bother. But thankfully her mastery is based purely off of health. And crit damage and that physical damage too. I mean, crit chance, her basic, as you, you may already well know, is painful. It hurts. So, uh, oh, I'm just so excited. Just keep cranking. Yeah, we're going to have to buy mats now. All right. Right up. Let's do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's just do that. I don't care. I'm probably going to have to buy another one, too. That's fine. We're just going to preemptively do this, too, because I'm already going to need them for Ben Solo. So, might as well. I just don't care. It doesn't matter. Just buy it. Let's move on. 
Yep. Go. Gotta do it. Okay. We should have everything we need for R7 without any issues. Perfect. Boom. R7, here we come. Right, plenty of mats all the way around. But, oh, uh, the relic grind to get everyone else up to par. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, this is one of the worst relic farms I've ever had. And I, I mean, you can see, like, I, I'm, I had to buy a match. I'm fresh out of these. These are the bane of my, no, 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 no. Never mind. They made that update. I'm not looking at them. It's the, I'm not going to talk about it. It's the coils. The coils make me so mad. All right, here we go. She's R7. What are we looking like now? Okay, 120k, phenomenal. What's the damage? 7k! That's 3,000 damage just for Relic 7. It's amazing. All right, so you already know we're not we're, we're not skimping. I got plenty of Zetas. We're here. I'm in it. We're going. Okay. And this was a huge thing for me too. I didn't realize her kit was so interesting because I've always fought against Rays, right? And I know Lifeblood gives protection up. But, um, right, until they defeated Lifebloods, granted to a different ally which can't be copied or dispelled, right? That's interesting, right? And damage received is 30%, right? 30% decrease, and damage increased is 30%. I didn't know that. I thought it just gave prod up. Her kit's sick, okay? Then this one can't be revived by people defeated by this, right? And then, then two times massive damage, dealing 7% more damage with the Relic Amplifiers. That's 49% more damage because we're r7 there's a reason to push her to r8 and r9 because she hurts so much more i'm not doing that right now because all my gls are sitting at r7 i don't do anyone r8 jml's maybe the only one who might get it right but here you go so mastery light side have right i'm gonna upgrade this and this is the kicker about her kid right every time someone falls below 50 percent health they get damage immunity it's sick okay Phenomenal. I'm going to go to the Inspiration, right? If she's inspired, she inspires the healthiest. This is really going to help now in Conquest with those Inspiration feats. They piss me off because it's, re it's really tedious to get Inspiration around. Now, we're fine, right? Phenomenal. And then, of course, you want to do this one. 10% max health and protection for Relic Amplifier level. Monstrous. Monstrous, okay? So, now we're going to go look, right? Not much has changed. Uh, actually, I don't think anything will have changed. I'm an idiot. But this health, right, we're going to get 70% additional health, right? If I, if I remember Galactic Legend, right? Yeah, 10% max health and protection for Relic Amplifier. So when we enter the battle, we get 70% health on top of whatever this base thing is when we go in. But now, now's the fun part. Now we really get to do cool stuff. So we're going to get rid of that because I already have the mod set out for her. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're rocking an offense health combo. Okay. That's the one. No, that's not the one, actually. That's the one. And I think I was doing a speed mod here. Now, let me look at something real quick, because I was actually curious. I don't remember if I do have any... I mean, we'll do that. I don't remember having any useful mods. Did I idiot? Am I an idiot? Primary status, health percent. No, I just don't have any health percent offense mods. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. So I, I would love to put a 16% um, health increase on here and then get like 25 speed as a secondary. Obviously, I don't have that. We're going to just rock with this. It's fine, right? But we're going to take it to 515 and 150k health, right? Okay, and that offense is going up to 9.4. We're not done, don't worry. This is gonna get better because we're gonna slice now, but that's just that, remember the baseline, okay? 150k health. That's really what we care about a lot too, is that health. But all right, we're gonna slice twice for each of these. All right, probably one of the worst rolls, but that's totally fine. Love it, all right, there we go. And we can, with the new calibrations, we can calibrate this too later if we feel like it. I don't care right now. Let's enhance here real quick. Just get you to blue. I'm not mad. Health is great on her. Let's go. Okay, enhance. Perfect. All right, let's slice it up. Perfect, that's fine. Take it to blue. Annoying, but you know it's all right. We can calibrate that one. 
Um, I'm going to get out of advance because I'm annoyed. Looking at that's annoying me. All right. Let's increase your health. Boom. All right. Give me speed. Oh, you're rude. I won't complain about offense, though. Speed. There we go. Okay, perfect. There we go. All the way to blue. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and slice this. All right. What was your suggested? No, not happening. Good talk. All right. Go ahead. Yep. All right. Give me... Give me offense or speed. Come on. That's literally not what I asked for at all. You're an idiot. All right, cool. Well, we have a ton of prod on that one. That's pain, but here we are. Cool. And we just only need to enhance this once, actually, because I'm not slicing this any further. It just gives us that two speed. So we move on. All right. So now let's look at her base stats again. Okay. Beautiful. Almost 530. We're going to get her to 540 if I can help it. Um... 180k it's just lovely that health oh i love it and we're at 10k damage which is exactly what i was hoping for a high offense rate right now there are rays that hit 11 11.5 because they go crazy with the secondaries i'm not that guy i'm not i'm not <laughs> i'm not going that hard but man oh she looks good and she's gonna be great already out the rip now unfortunately we do not have a galactic challenge live right now so the best i can do to test her is just take her 1v5 in um a just a light side battle and i'm gonna just do just that because putting her against lord vader is a waste of my time in arena and that would make me mad because my own lord vader is just a troll in there too so we're just not going to worry about it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to my favorites of geo brood alpha who i've been using just as a farm mechanic for a few things we're going to go here go to the light side battle and we're just going to drop her in 1v whatever in this light side battle because i just want to see her in action i just want to do it once just let me just let me rock with it yeah go ahead battle once uh-huh oh i'm just so excited no i don't mm. i want the worst ally possible then okay sure bring him give me ray all right battle yes go we don't care. Yoda's there just for show, right? I've tried to make this as uneventful for him as possible. Okay, love that. All right, let's just start. Okay, and remind me. Okay, so Ray loses. Yeah, obviously you lose that. Target ally gains that. Oh, and we can do it to ourself, right? All other allies gain half that. Okay, so if Ray's in at full health, all light side allies gain critical hit immunity, which is why you do this twice to start generally. Okay, makes sense. Target all other ally. Uh, gains lifeblood until they're defeated. Okay. Makes sense. Let's do that. <laughs> he has so much bonus prod. It's crazy. So now we do that. Um, actually, we don't even need to do it. Let's just go basic. 26k. That's pretty good. Let's just go right above. Pretty good. Bam. And you'll see she's doing damage. She would be doing damage twice. She's only doing it once. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. All right, and we'll just keep going. Let's give ourselves some bonus brought. Oh, we're thickums now. And we're going to hit damage immunity, which means I can use sudden whirlwind in a second, which I'm very excited about. Let's slow it down. <laughs> Won't even tell me how much it would actually do. Love that. <laughs> uh, the animations for Ray are actually really on point, too. I really love them, especially her ult. I mean, dude, that... That ability is sick. Oh, we're in very slow. All right, we're going to do this to uh, get me into damage immunity again to uh, do some dirty to Savage. Oh, there we go. All right. Whoop. Boom. All dead. Sudden Whirlwind, I know y'all know, it's just an unbelievable ability that just does so much damage. I, oh, I love it. Okay, no, I don't care. Go away. I don't care. Cool, so there's that. I know that's a very underwhelming test of her, but I'm very excited to just see how she plays in Conquest more than anything. I mean, we know what Ray is. Ray is Ray. We know what we're getting. We know what we're looking at. But, man, I'm just so glad to have her done. Right, and unlocked. I can be working on the ult. But now I can pivot towards Radis and Jabba and just push there. You'll see I've got the stupid Inquisitors here. Pushing Aura to try to get it out for Jabba, pushing Radis, right? And these guys are just other buddies that may be necessary at some point that I'm working on, right? I just, yeah, Ray. 
Ray, we're just going to end looking at you. Very pleased, very happy mm. to have her. Phenomenal GL, especially for defense in Grand Arena. So we're going to end that there. I mean, I've just had a ton of fun doing this. Mm. Love looking at it. Love seeing her in action. I'm out. But uh, thank you for watching. We'll catch you guys in, uh, uh, what, tier four and five and six of her here in a couple weeks. Thanks.